I've always used record weights, both with my main turntable and also with the turntable that I use to, you know, test equipment on or after I've cleaned records to test the records. But recently, I thought I would do something different than a record weight, a record clamp. Now, this one is made by the folks at Record Doctor. You might recognize the name. Record Doctor is the exact same people who make the Record Doctor vacuum, these Model 6 that I use or that I've incorporated into my cleaning routine. I still use it in conjunction with the Project VCE2 vacuum machine. And I did a video or a comparison video on the two. Uh, you can probably click on it right up here to get to that. As much as I, I like and appreciate the products from Record Doctor, I thought I would give the record clamp a chance. Before I get into it, it's probably worth a brief refresher on what a record clamp or record weight actually does. You'll hear some people say that it improves bass response and it improves you know, the clarity and the detail in the music. Well, not exactly. What it does is it stabilizes the record to the platter. It's all about reducing vibrations. And your stylus is incredibly sensitive to vibrations. So if you allow your stylus to do its work with as little outside vibrations as possible, you might get a little bit better bass response and better clarity and detail. But not always. And it really depends on your setup. There are a lot of things that come into play. And I do want to say that Clamps and weights, they're not snake oil. You'll hear people say that they're also snake oil, but there is physics behind this. When someone claims that there is absolutely no benefits to a record weight or record clamp, well, they might be right. It might be no benefit on their system. They might have a system very stable that has zero outside vibration. So slap a record weight on, you know, on top of the platter, they might not notice a difference. I have noticed a difference. Back when I used to use an acrylic platter mat, those are a little bit prone to slippage, so a record weight really helped. Just like an anti-slip regulation system in your car, you might not need it in every situation, but when you do, you're happy that you have it, especially if you live in New England in the winter. Both clamps and weights do add stability, and they help reduce vibrations, and the slippage I mentioned if you have that issue. A record that's Firmly attached to the platter allows the stylus to do its magic. And like I mentioned, there are vibrations that come into play. You might not feel them, but I promise you, your stylus does. And if your stylus was not, you know, prone to picking up every little vibration, well, you wouldn't enjoy your musical experience as much. As the stylus tracks through the groove, it's picking up every little vibration from that groove. It's sending it back along the cantilever and back into your cartridge. And I mentioned external vibrations. They're all over the place. There could be things like your motor on your turntable has a little bit of vibration play there. You could have like external components. The speakers might be introducing a little bit of vibration through the floor, which then gets to the turntable. Someone walking into the room, closing a door. All of these things create vibrations. Very subtle vibrations, but vibrations are just the same. And your stylus knows they're there. Well, not consciously, but it knows that they're there. It picks them up. So the bottom line is, it's all about minimizing the amount of vibrations that get to your stylus. Record weights and record clamps help with that. There are differences in how they do this too. The record weight, like the one I use right here, this just sits on top of the record right over the label. It's using gravity to do its job. But there are concerns though. Any little bit of weight can cause a little bit of strain on things like your belt or if you have a direct drive, things like the bearings. So there are concerns with record weights and I don't use these when I'm using a or playing a 180 gram or a 200 gram record. My main turntable, my Thorins, that has a, it's a belt driven turntable and it also has a suspension system. So weight is a concern for me. And that concern is eliminated with things like a, the Record Doctor clamp. And this one is their low profile version. You can kind of see that there. Low profile meaning I think it's about a little bit over an inch tall, not much. It's also not heavy. This weighs about 5.4 ounces or 153 grams. And that's a hell of a lot lighter than my Bren 1 record weight. This weighs 14 ounces and 397 grams. That's a big difference. 
The other good thing about the Record Doctor record clamp is it puts a lot less stress on your system. The way the Record Doctor clamp works is also different than a weight. You don't just simply set it on top of the record. It actually has a little collet right here that will clamp to the spindle. And then you just turn this to tighten it up. Instead of relying on gravity to do the work, it basically just attaches itself right to the spindle and becomes part of the unit. And if you're worried about your label after the clamp is in place, it has a little soft lining on the outer ridge here, on the outer rim, to keep the label safe, so you don't have to worry about it. And then, there's warps. Yes, warps. While a really bad warp is a no-go when it comes to playback, one of those concave warps, this comes in very handy, because you're basically flattening out the record and tightening it up. So it's a nice flat record with no vibrations. It's a great little solution to a need that many of us have. Weights and clamps come at different price points. And weights are typically a little bit more than a clamp. This Record Doctor clamp, uh, at the time I'm recording this, is about $39.95. You can get it for, at places like Crutchfield or Audio Advisor or even Amazon. And I'll drop a link in the description in case you're interested in checking it out. So what about you? Do you use a clamp or weight? I'd love to hear your comments, both for and against, to keep the conversation going. I always appreciate it. So just leave your comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe, you know, like the video and all that fun stuff. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourself and enjoy your records.